Yeah. So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. This is Shanmugaraj. So we are continuing our journey on uh, program lifecycle management. So today's topic is program integration management. So as we are aware, there are uh, essentially five important performance domain being discussed as part of standards of program management. So currently we are progressing with the final one, which is the program lifecycle management. So other four areas you know we already discussed you can refer my previous videos right so we'll be continuing with the life cycle management one there are important two aspects in program life cycle management the first one is the program life cycle itself the second one is the program activities and integration management we have seen at high level overview about program activities and integration management in my previous video in this video, we're going to focus on program integration management alone. So in this video, we're going to talk about certain critical activities as part of program integration management. There are five activities which is cutting across entire program life cycle, which can be considered as part of you know program integration management it might require you know these activities will require a lot of integration or interconnected activities across components so those activities are program infrastructure development program delivery management program performance monitoring and controlling benefit sustainment and program close up we will see each one uh, in my subsequent slides mm -hmm. Let us try to understand program infrastructure development. Program infrastructure development is performed to investigate, assess, and plan the support structure that will assist the program in achieving its goals. Right? So you need to create some supporting structure, right? So that is very important. Program infrastructure development initiated in program definition phase. It can be repeated at any time, at any phases. It establishes both management and technical resources. So you need to ensure that program infrastructure when you develop, you need to consider that you know both management and technical resources. It refers to both personnel and to program specific tools and facilities. Program management core team is designated to establish this program infrastructure development. For many programs, PMO is a core part of the program infrastructure. One of the key elements of program infrastructure is the program management information system. Now let us try to understand uh, what is program management information system, which is which is a key element of program infrastructure, right? So PMIS consists of tools that used to collect, integrate, and communicate information critical to effective management. So whatever information you need to handle, right, or you want to communicate and integrate across components or within the program, it's all those things, all the required tools for those communication is, is called PMIS. And effective PMIS incorporates below things actually, software tools, documents, data, and knowledge repositories, configuration management tools, change management system, risk database and analysis tools, financial management system, earned value management activities and tools, requirement management activities and tools. Now let us try to understand uh, program delivery management. It includes management, oversight, integration and optimization of the program components that will deliver the capabilities and benefits required for the organization to realize value, right? So generally delivery management include you know, your management activities, oversight, supervision, integration, optimization. So all those activities combined together to be used for delivery of the program or delivery of the value is called program delivery management. So these activities performed throughout the program delivery and related to initiation change Transition and closure of program components also being handled at right? program and delivery management. Right? Since program consists of many components, even the initiation of a particular component or transition or a closure might happen within the program delivery management phase itself. 
right? So initiation, as we discussed, right? Initiation of program component may occur in this phase. A change requests also need to be dealt during the course of program delivery. It can happen that a you know, component can be closed and transistors. So also, all these activities, you know, it's, it's governed governed under the program delivery management. Let us try to understand program performance monitoring and controlling. It is performed by both program and component level during the delivery management. These activities include collecting, measuring, and disseminating the performance information to track the progress against the objectives. The program performance reports include the summary of the program, I mean, summary of the progress of all the program components. So these reports generally provide current status, information, what work remains to be completed, and value, risks, and issues, and benefits. Forecast and prediction of the programs of future state also can be included. Now, let us try to understand the benefits sustainment and program uh, transition activity. Some program components may produce immediate benefits, but others require a handoff or a transition to another organization or another program in order to ongoing benefits to be realized. So benefit sustainment may be achieved through operations, maintenance, uh, new projects, or other initiatives and efforts. Right. There are multiple ways you can sustain your benefits, multiple ways you can you know, either you can um, close the component after benefit realization if you want to sustain the benefit there are a number of ways you can do that all these you know part of uh, program integration management as well now let us try to understand program close out as part of program integration management so program is closed either on fulfillment of its benefits as per the business case or it can be closed have an early end due to some strategical or you know uh, could be uh, governmental reasons or could be a restriction reasons or any conditions any external conditions right so successful completion of the program is judged against the approved business case actual program outcomes and the current goals and strategic objectives of the organization to understand the program is you know succeeded correctly or not you need to understand what is being you know put in our business case what is the exact outcome are we are, are we attaining that let us understand what is the current situation as well the things are relevant or something like that for a formal program closure you need to close all the components within the program you need to complete all the contracts to be formally closed then then you can close the program itself so program will receive a formal closure acceptance from the program steering committee only program steering committee has you know, governance authority after you know closure of all these components and contracts and then they'll approve for closure of the program itself right so as part of program governance plan a final program report also to be documented to improve the uh, success of the future programs so we talked about you know during the program closure a final program report to be generated right so what are the contents of those final program report so it might contain uh, financial and performance assessments lessons learned very very important successes and failures identified areas of improvement risk management concerns, outcomes unforeseen risks customer sign offs reason for program closeout history of all the baselines archival plan for program documentation right so all this uh, being part of final program report it's very very important as a lessons learned so that will help you to understand what are the things we you know uh, we did well what are the things we need to have improvement and how we are going to sustain in our future programs how we are going to change our way of working so all those things you know being documented here it's a very very important report you know, to be done as part of the program closure well, with that we have come to the conclusion of today's video hope you got a nice idea on program integration management why we are uh, talking about what is the importance of it what are the critical activities like program infrastructure development, program closeout, you know, benefit realization, right? Program delivery management. How these activities, you know, playing an important role 
as part of you know program integration and uh, inter component activities right so hope you like this video we will see you in uh, next video